Let's say I work for a food magazine called Umami, and we just found out that we're in the final voting round of the BBC Viewer's Choice Award. We know that we're going to get a lot of new traffic from the BBC, and want to make sure that our homepage is catered to those new users. My boss gave me this mock-up of what they'd like the homepage to look like. You can see the hero text is different, and they want a different background image. Below that, there's a two-column section. On the left side, there's a YouTube video, and on the right side, there's a promotional ad. Let's see how Drupal enables me to implement this mockup. I built the homepage with Layout Builder, which is a new module in Drupal Core. With Layout Builder, I can click the Layout tab and then make edits to the page in line. I'm going to edit the hero, start with the title, update the link, and finally swap out the background image. This field uses the media library another new module in Core. The media library allows users to quickly create and reuse media in line. I'm going to remove the pre-existing media and upload a new image. Now that the media item has been created, I can update the hero and see my changes in line. Now I need to implement that two column section below the hero. Layout Builder allows you to embed sections within a page. You can think of sections as layouts you can embed within layouts. I'm going to add a section with two columns. First, I'll embed the YouTube video. I'm going to use the media library for this. I know that I want a video, so I'll sort the view by Vermont videos and decide which one I want embedded. Now you can see the YouTube video in line. On the right side, I'll embed the promotional ad, which I made beforehand. And there we go. Now this matches the mockup, but I've realized that I would rather have the promo on the left side than the video on the right side. To do that, I'll just drag and drop the promo and the video. Now I'm ready to save my layout. I'll scroll to the top of the page and click Save Layout. Now we've updated the homepage to match the mockups. It's pretty cool. As a part of this campaign, we've also created an article that highlights the voting competition. We don't have the results of the voting competition yet, but if we win, we want the article to reflect that. I'm going to use a new core module called Workspaces to stage my content changes. Workspaces allows content editors to work on a copy of your site that is not live, and when they're ready, publish multiple pieces of content at once. By default, Core ships with two workspaces. Stage for pending content and live for publicly visible content. We're going to switch to the stage workspace. And now that I'm there in the stage workspace, I can make edits to the article without affecting the live site. Let's update the article as if we've already won the competition. I'll update the body as well. And save the article. The article has been updated and is staged to go live. Let's fast forward in time to when the competition is complete and deploy the stage workspace. Deploying the workspace will publish all my content changes live. Now that the stage workspace is deployed, let's switch to the live workspace to see what the site looks like. All right, now my homepage has been updated with Layout Builder, Media, and Workspaces. Thanks for watching the demo. I hope you're as excited to use Drupal 8.6 as I am.